pointed out. Let's talk about the tech infrastructure that you've just tried to refer to as well. Let's let's lay out the landscape of the kind of tech infrastructure we've uh, we've now seen mushroom. I think, as you also call it, this mushrooming network of tech infrastructure that's both aiding and abetting the the activities in this world. Um, of course, people often like to call. Um, recall, uh, you know, the internet as a as as a set of tubes, uh, as was popularly called, uh, I think, almost two decades ago. But now, I think, as much more um, awareness has risen, there's a very clear set of elements of this tech infrastructure. Just talk to us about that. What do you see as the key elements of that tech infrastructure globally? Well, um, here I must confess, I'm not a I'm not a great expert, and I look at this through the perspective of those who are spying or those who are waging wars over this infrastructure. But of course, you know what we what we see is um, the tubes are still fundamentally important, right? Uh, undersea cables carry ninety five percent of the world's internet traffic, and the internet is still very physically instantiated in real things. And in fact, one could argue that the physical instantiations of the internet have become more important in the 25 years, uh, in the last 25 years, not least because of things like the Snowden disclosures, right? Countries are more aware of the need to keep servers on their own soil for data localization. They're more conscious of the risks that come with having infrastructure on foreign soil. Um, but what the big change I would say since the Snowden era is the massive importance of cloud computing infrastructure, right? So much more of, of, of everything we do and process and use as, inter, as users of the internet and users of computers is on the cloud. And this is intensely geopolitical, right? You know, if you're, if you're sitting in, 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 in Europe or a mid-sized country, even, even India, or, or, or middle power, I should say, right? A, a sort of a non-superpower, really. You don't have all that many choices of cloud infrastructure, right? Your, 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 your top end infrastructure will often be built by the Americans or the Chinese and you take your pick. I, I, I'm, aware, I'm aware that's simplifying it and there are of course exceptions, yeah. but this brings difficulties for countries uh, in Europe. For example, if you're France, um, you may not feel terribly comfortable about having your vital government cloud services, particularly those for your national security agencies on, uh, even if they're on French soil, run by Amazon, um, Google. Amazon. Yeah. Right. And, and the reason for that, of course, is because there's the experience of the Snowden years and under things like the Cloud Act, which are American laws designed to facilitate lawful surveillance by the American government, they have some jurisdiction over American firms, including their data centers abroad. So um, uh, the, the, the internet you know, has, has changed and evolved. The cloud's more important uh, uh, than it has been, but the geopolitics of it, the physicality of it, that still remains incredibly important, I would say. I guess the last thing I would say is um, uh, as AI becomes more important, particularly to governments who want to process large amounts of data, whether that is data about uh, um, uh, foreign, uh, foreign adversaries, whether that's data about troop movements, whether that's data collected by their satellites over their adversary countries, um, that has to be processed and it has to be, uh, uh, it has to be uh, exploited. And we're discovering that that is, again, much more difficult to do in practice than in theory, right? You need computing power that turns out to be extremely expensive. Some of it may need to be classified. So you need to have compute that is a high side compute that is able to deal with secret or top secret data. And these are kind of incredibly these are difficult engineering and bureaucratic challenges for governments and organizations that simply haven't had to think about them for, for a very long time. 